wild dog, often referred to as the painted do wild dog, was once widespread, but now its numbers are slowly dwindling, mostly due to human interference. It is currently endangered. The African wild dog's habitat is limited. The wild dog is currently losing available space in Africa. This is mostly due to farmers in Africa as they move into new areas and hunt the wild dogs. African wild dogs live in sub-Saharan Africa. They can be found mostly in the plains of Africa. These wild dogs tend to live in more arid lands and can also be found in the woodlands and savanna of sub-Saharan Africa. They exist mostly in the grassland, savanna, and open woodland biomes, but are not typically found in the jungles of Africa, as they prefer more arid land. The savanna biome is an open grassland dotted with trees. The savanna has tall grass and has an average temperature of about 64 degrees Fahrenheit. During winter, it gets very dry, but during the summer months, it is frequented by heavy monsoon rain. The grassland climate can range from cool to hot summers. The average temperatures ranges from about negative 4 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit, and the soil in this biome mostly consists of a large layer of humus. The grasslands also face natural disturbances, such as heavy monsoon rain in the summer due to scorched con conditions, as well as the formation of ice in the winter months. One of the biotic factors of the grasslands is the living organisms that reside there. Some primary producers include grasses and mosses, while some primary and secondary consumers include animals such as moles, hares, rabbits, lions, and wild dogs. The wild dog's ancestry can be dated back 40 million years ago, years ago to the Mikasis. The wild dog's ancestry can also be dated back to two other animals, one being the bear dog and the other being the Cynodictus, both of which existed about 30 million years ago. All in all, the African wild dog's ancestry dates back to many years ago. African wild dogs live up to 11 years. For them, only the dominant pair of dog, dogs breed in the pack. These two stay mates for life while the other females of the pack are kept from breeding. Breeding typically happens between December and March. The pack will then care for these pups. A female African wild dog will give birth about every 12 to 14 months. The wild dog is built for chasing animals with long legs and a light body. Their large ears can help radiate heat away from its body. It has a short and broad muzzle, muzzles adapted to kill and eat its prey. Their coat is multicolored in order for it to blend and camouflage into its environment. The African wild dog is carnivorous, feeding only on meat. It rarely ever eats plants or grasses, and it feeds on antelope, gazelle, as well as other grazing animals. The African wild dog, unlike hyenas, is not a scavenger and always eats its fresh kills. The African wild dog is highly endangered for, se for several reasons, the first being they are frequently shot and poisoned by farmers, as they are often blamed when a leopard or hyena kills a farmer's livestock. They are also hunted and killed by humans and lose their habitat when human populations move in, which is happening even more frequently. But the main issue is that they are losing their habit habitats where they could once freely roam, due to agriculture, settlements, and roads. Smaller reasons include diseases that the African wild dogs are susceptible to, such as rabies and dis distemper, as well as competition with larger predators. There are four parts to the African wild dogs recovery plan, and the first is to collaborate and work with the Zambia Wildlife Authority in order to establish a habitat that can create easy and natural flow between wild dog populations in Lower Zambezi and South Luangwa National Parks. The second part is to expand research and education in order to increase and ampl amplify support for wild dogs and the monitoring and conservation of the regions in which they reside. The third part is to partner with the Zambian Wildlife Authority in order to make sure the current ongoing conservation management for wild dog populations is being implemented. The final part of the recovery plan is to increase the population of wild dogs through the introduction of a program aimed at restocking the area. Through this, the African wild dogs can take the land back they used to roam, allowing them to be free once again.